What are you doing? Why aren't you a member of the Goosh, our Patreon, yet? Come on over there. We'll be waiting for you. Okay, guys, here we go with another Family Guy Try Not to Laugh. This is more from the Cutaway Compilations <laughs> playlist. That's been a blast. Now, I just want to let you guys know, as we're doing all this new stuff here at the channel, reacting to all these different shows, and, and it's been a lot of fun. We got a lot of fun shows, you know, coming up. I'll still be doing the Try Not to Laughs. I, I, I like doing these a lot. You guys seem to enjoy them with me, and, and they're a great way to escape and just all of us, like have some laughs together so you know no concerns as we're bringing in the new stuff we'll be doing the try not to laugh and the cool thing is the try not to laugh of course we can do in their entirety whereas all the other shows i have to put up cut up versions here and then the full unedited versions over at the goosh at our patreon but these whatever it entails we get to post it all here and that makes it fun well that and the fact that these freaking things are hysterical come on let's go that'd be kind of nice actually Hey, maybe you could drive me around and help me out, and I could even pay a little something for your time. Sure, that sounds great. What are they? You know, it'll be nice having a little extra cash to bet on college football. Uh, oh, that's right. For those of you who don't know, the only sports betting I do is college football. And over the last several years, I've done quite well at it. Yeah, I'd like to bet 100 bucks. You want to pick a team? No, just take it. And there are times when I feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> more often when uh, I don't I don't play them much anymore, but I used to follow the horses pretty close. I would play the horses more likely then. You go up to the window and there's been a ton of time. It's just been like, you know, I'll give them my bet, race number, horse number, all that, and they go to give me the ticket. And it's like, why bother taking the ticket? It's... Yeah, I mean that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. Anyway, my brother Louis, he's a uh, he's a little off to the side, you know, uh, foofy. Uh, yep. Up he's a uh, he's a backwards mechanic. Like to play in the <laughs> <laughs> it's a backwards mechanic. I hadn't heard that one before. <laughs> but being married to an Italian and having a lot of Italian friends, yeah, this is this is this is it. Gay? <laughs> no, mama! Hold on, Peter. Mama, Louis's not gay. He's he's creative. <laughs> he's creative. Yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> it's <laughs> that, that's that's a good way to put it. He's just being creative with his sexuality. Peter, hand me my gun and get out of here. I could get fired for this. And I can't go back to my job as a magician's assistant. And now, to pull the two sides apart. <gasps> and wiggle your toes. Oh. I said, wiggle your toes. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I wanted to talk to you before the show. <laughs> <laughs> you should have talked to him before the show because it would have made a lot, <laughs> a lot more sense to have Joe be the the top part. <laughs> and once again, life shits on Joe, and I laugh. <laughs> wow, you must be excited. Goddamn socks. Peter. Yep, guess I can cross this one off my bucket list. All that's left now is living the Pueblo lifestyle. Peter, what oh. the hell did you do to the house? I know, it seems pretty lame until you realize I'm 58. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go lick the foot of a fleshy, pale woman for Ooh. real sex 34. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I should have known. As soon as he had the ponytail, it, we knew he was going to be in an episode of real sex. Not that I would, I would watch that stuff. It's not like I got, you know, especially years ago, it's not like I got HBO just for the titties. There were other things, too, I think. And Quagmire owes me a favor anyway, remember? <clears throat> Last time he went out of town, I sat on his eggs for him. Peter, it's time for lunch. Okay. Sorry, Lois, can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, I guess I haven't seen that mongoose in a while. Uh, it's over for those We're eggs. sloppy joes. Yeah, I heard. Please say you got the onion bun. We're uh, having sloppy joes. There you go, the <laughs> mongoose. <gasps> Mongoose! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't see that part coming. I, I just thought we were going to be <laughs> celebrating how diabolically ingenious the mongoose was. The The beheading was a bonus. <laughs> I wasn't, shit, I thought I was going to make it too. I wasn't going to laugh until that because 
you know, somebody getting their throat cut, of course, you have to laugh, I, I guess. I don't know. It just seems like it always ends badly for you two. And it can be tricky working with an ex. Look at Kermit and Miss Piggy. How are you feeling, Miss oh, Piggy? Oh, no. I heard you called in sick yesterday. Yeah, I had a frog in my throat. <laughs> ah, right, Kermit? Ah, right? Ah. Please stop drinking. Hmm, Kermit, what are you bitching about? If she really had a frog in her throat, just shut up and enjoy it. Don't be a bitch. Is it worth a shot? Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise <sighs> everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Oh, no. Three, two, oh, no. What is this? Some animals give me boners. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> It's not even the fact that some animals give them bone. It's Chris, and it's not really all that surprising. It is the. It's interesting the timing, though. <laughs> uh, I gotta think of what I want to shout out at this year at, at New Year. Huh? It'll probably be something even grosser than that. I swear, Mama Trisha, I'm gonna make you the <clears throat> proudest tiger mom of all. Not like how Jesus feels about his kid. Dad, oh. I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa. Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know Jesus was that heavy into sarcasm and condescension. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's probably good to know, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry. What happened at school today? You're kind of a dick, Dad. Huh. I wonder if there's anyone in here whose dad was a oh, bigger dick. Oh. Wow, crazy. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I love this show. I really do. I'm doing terrible at this, trying not to laugh, but I still love oh, this show. God, I've ruined Christmas. Ooh. Like the little drummer boy when he got really into Neil Peart. Hit it. There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. I was going to be all right till he kicked over the. Kicked over the, the the child, the baby Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you hey, you play a riff like that. Sometimes things just get carried away, and and that gift kicks the shit out of gold frankincense or myrrh. The fuck's a myrrh? I told you I'm done with you. And besides, I'm off to the spa down at the club. How's the temp? Good and hot. Uh, there's oh, a temp in yeah, there. That's the stuff. Hey, did you also not wash your ass before getting in? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. That sign. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man, that went entirely different than I thought. I, <laughs> Well, you guys know how perverted my mind is when he said, how's the temp? I thought a temp, a temporary female employee was going to eventually pop her head out from under the water. There's either a missed joke there by them or I'm just severely messed up or both. It's the first thing I'm really good at. Plus, I love making other women bleed. But, you know, in ways besides the way, you know, they normally bleed. Oh. He means periods. <laughs> yeah, I got it, Stewie. But I'm telling you, Meg, something bad is going on. can't help it. Like, when you give a young... <laughs> Stewie from the other room is perfect. Young athlete, too much money. <laughs> oh, I, shit. I gotta murder somebody. Well, what else are you gonna do with all that cash? Peanut, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job. Like when I was a pro football kicker. Oh, no. Yay! Now I can fist bump with black guys. Nailed it, Peter! There you go! Yeah! We going to the club tonight? Not you! Okay! Okay! Oh, the kicker... The kickers are traditionally always the outsiders anyway. It's... Yeah, because when you're the kicker, you got to figure if... You know, you're a lineman or something, and you've been fighting for 60 minutes, and every single down you're battling some freaking 6'5", 300-pound monster, only to get to the end of the game, down by one, and your kicker misses the winning field goal. Yeah, you want to punch him in the face. 
He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that. He also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. Oh. So brace yourself when you oh. have an iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Oh. Uh. My parents have access to that. What's wrong uh. with this worm? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way Carter says things anyway, but that's it. Yeah, Worm's got issues. Yeah, I'm with you. Got Just sores. As soon as I finish getting the word out about the one thing oh. more important. The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. They're ladies. Just one of them? That's the thing. It's both of them. What are the chances? What are the chances? The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. Wait a second. I didn't even know this. Is this true? Huh. Boy, I really do. I live a sheltered life. I'll tell you who should be saying his prayers. Santa. He messes with me, I mess with him. That's oh. why I replaced one of his flying reindeer with an ordinary non-magical one. Ah. Cut it off! Cut it off! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, I think this year is going to be the best. <laughs> Yay! Free horse! I can't, yay, free horse. <laughs> I can't, I can't, this show, God damn. <laughs> Chris is awesome. I'm sorry, Rupert, but the situation here has become unbearable. Oh, like man. talking to someone with adult <sighs> braces. So, yeah, last weekend, Sheila and I took the kids up to the lake. It was great. We had great weather, fired up the barbecue. Sheila's parents came up towards the end of the when week. When are you going to get those off? Ah, that doesn't really bother me all that much. The, the um, reindeer crashing through my roof at dinner might be, well, I was going to say it might be something that takes you aback a little bit, but hey, it's the holidays. You just go with the flow. <laughs> Roast this chestnuts on an open fire or some shit. I don't know. This, that was a great compilation. <laughs>